understanding route aggregation in VGP. I got this, um, all this from, from this document from the Cisco website. Um, so you can use or you use aggregates in order to minimize the size of routing tables. <clears throat> so I have a topology here. Um, each router is in their own AS number or AS. So RO2 is in AS2, R1 is in AS1, R3 is in AS3, R4 is in AS4. So, um, R2 and R3 are both advertising their loopback addresses into BGP. And if we go to, we can verify that. Let me just erase that. By checking R1 IP, I mean BGP table here. So this is from R2. And this is from R3, as you can see from the next tops. Okay, and if you want to aggregate this route or these routes or prefixes and advertise it to R4, so R4 can only have will only have one route. You can do that by doing this command. But for now, I'm going to do this first so I can show you that without the summary only command, uh, you are adverti advertising the aggregate route in all the specific routes, more specific routes. So that would be the these routes here. Okay, so let me start with the configurations. I can actually just So this is an R1, right? So I can just, let me just do this first. Let me verify the BGP configuration on R1. So no aggregate commands. So now I can just copy and paste these commands into R1. And if we go to, so it says here, observations, this command advertises the prefix or aggregate route and all the more specific routes. Hence, the more specific, this route and this route are still on R4. And we can verify that by doing show IPBGP on R4, we can see these routes here, aside from the aggregate route. You cannot, there's another observation here, you cannot aggregate an address if you not if you do not have a more specific route on that of that address in the BGP routing table. So we can aggregate the these two routes into a single route because we can see that these routes are in the BGP routing table. I mean BGP table here. And an injection of the more specific route can route into the BGP table is possible. The route injection can occur via, so these are the three options that you have incoming updates from other ASS. So that would be this scenario. Uh, the distribution of an IGP or a static into BGP. The network command for, for example, this year. Okay, so Let me just
maybe do that like that. Okay, now we can check BG config BGP configuration on R1. And next uh, step is actually add the summary only command. So router BGP1 summary only. So it says here that this command advertises the prefix or aggregate only. The command suppresses all the more specific routes. The more specific uh, routes are suppressed on R1. So we can go <coughs> we can go to R1 into R1 and check. Yeah, you can see here that this the more specific routes are suppressed. And if we go to R4, we only see the aggregate route, this one, from R1. This is the next stop here. OK, and number three observation is if the aggregate route is considered to have originated from AS1. So AS1, okay, with origin code IGP, okay, IGP here. The route has lost all the specific AS path information of the individual prefixes. So this route uh, it's coming from AS2, as you can see from the topology, and this route is coming from AS3. So we don't see we don't see that there are uh, more specific routes coming from AS2 and uh, AS3 in the AS path information. So we can do that. We can see the the uh, AS path information by adding this argument yes dash set so let me do that on r1 okay aggregate you can just copy and paste this command here okay so with the as set configuration command, the aggregate inherits the attributes of the more specific routes. So issue the issue show IP BGP on R1 and check pad information. Yeah, now we can see that the Uh, this path information is associated with this aggregate route, and we can also check that on R4 here. So, yeah, the path information is associated with this aggregate route. Actually, I'm going to say R4. And the number two observation is the ASI set information becomes important in the avoidance of routing loops because the information records where the route has been. So this is, the AS path is important um, uh, to avoid routing loops just in case um, R4 is advertising the, the aggregate route, this route, back into AS2 and AS3. So if uh, AS2 and AS3 see that you know they, their AS ASs are in the uh, path, then they will not install the um, aggregate route into their routing tables or BGP tables. Okay, that's how you can uh, configure route aggregation in BGP. 
And again, I've showed you the aggregate without the summary only argument, uh, aggregate without the AS uh, set argument, and last but not least, aggregate with the AS set argument. So, yep, yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.